Stop reporting on Biden's angry feelings toward Israel. It's not news. It's not interesting. The imperial media cannot stop babbling about how angry President Biden's feelings are feeling toward Israel, like it's some kind of actual news story, even as this administration cheerfully pours mountains of weaponry into backing Israel's genocidal atrocities in Gaza. If you haven't been following the mass media's coverage of Biden and Gaza for the last six months, the entire thing can be summed up by the headline of a new Politico article, Angry Biden Not Changing Israel Policy After Deadly Strike on Aid Workers. This is in reference to the Israeli military's deliberate assassination of seven World Central Kitchen aid workers, which conveniently resulted in multiple humanitarian aid organizations ceasing their operations in Gaza out of fear of being attacked themselves. The attack has been drawing widespread condemnation throughout the Western world because six of the workers killed came from Western nations and are therefore considered real human beings by the Western Empire. Biden released a statement saying how outraged and heartbroken he is about the incident, drawing a fresh deluge of frenzied reporting about how the president's feelings are feeling about Israel. But as the aforementioned Politico article illustrates, none of this actually matters because this administration's Israel policy has not changed. Biden is reportedly set to greenlight a sale of fighter jets to Israel in a deal worth $18 billion, and this is just a few days after we learn that this administration has quietly signed off on the delivery of more of the 2,000-pound bombs with which the IDF has been obliterating so many civilians in Gaza. The Biden White House still adamantly refuses to acknowledge that Israel has even once violated humanitarian law these past six months. So why are we being told by the news media over and over and over again that Biden is super duper upset with the government of Israel? It doesn't matter. At all. It's not a news story. It's not interesting. Nobody with functioning gray matter between their ears gives the tiniest sliver of a fuck. But they've been hammering and hammering and hammering on this idiotic narrative for months. The answer, of course, is because the Western news media are propaganda services for the Western Empire, of which Washington is the central hub, and their job is therefore to make the U.S. government look good. By emphasizing the point over and over and over again that the U.S. president strongly disapproves of the Israeli regime's behavior in Gaza, the imperial spinmeisters are distancing the White House from one of the darker chapters in the history of the United States, even as Biden signs off on this mass atrocity day after day despite being fully capable of ending it at any time. This fuzz-brained nonsense is happening at the same time a major report from 972 reveals that Israel has been using an AI system to compile kill lists of suspected members of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, which have been carried out with hardly any human verification. One automated system, psychopathically named Where's Daddy, tracks suspects to their homes so that they can be killed along with their entire families. The IDF has been knowingly killing 15 to 20 civilians at a time to kill one junior Hamas operative, and up to 100 civilians at a time to take out a senior official. This is the kind of murderous depravity that the Biden administration has been giving the thumbs up to day after day for half a year now, while the imperial media prattle on like preschoolers about the president's feelings. Stop telling us about the president's feelings. Stop telling us he's angry and frustrated with Israel. No one cares. No one gives a shit how Biden's feelings feel about the government he's helping carry out a genocide. All that matters is that he's helping them commit genocide. This six-month mass atrocity has been one non-stop insult to our intelligence.